Okay, girl, we're back. Happy Friday. So we are back. I have a special guest. We had some technical difficulties, but she's here now. Let me bring her on. She should be coming on. Oh, I didn't invite her on. All I did is wave at her. Let me... You can send the request here. There you go. Now we got it. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. Hi. We're here now. Okay, you made it. You made it. You made it. Yes. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I can't complain. The wheel, I mean, time is obviously flying. Like, I think that's a sign that I'm getting older. <laughs> January's gone. Um, this week is gone. First week of February. Yeah. And I'm so forgetful. Like, I don't have I don't have my glasses, which is my signature look on the gram. And I forgot my tripod. Oh. <laughs> but, You're still making it happen, though. Right? Yeah. You look like the sun, the sun has kissed you, though. Yeah. I have a nice, like, big window here. So... The sun, yeah, the sun is taking care of me. That's true. That's true. That's true. You look cute. Thank you. <laughs> so this is my client, Clarissa. Um, she's mad cool, so dope. Um, I've been working with her for a few months. Uh, last is last summer, about was it last summer? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So um, I'm half food, and I didn't realize it was that long. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was like good weather out at that time. Yeah. I think I was working with you from Oshawa. So um, she is one of my virtual clients. Hey, Nini86. Um, she's one of my virtual clients. So um, she ordered the stool, ordered her herbs, and booked her virtual appointments. And we mm -hmm. check in on a regular after that um, for her, her appointment. So you typically like to do your steaming session and then book your appointment and we chat about it and the progress right. is made afterwards. Right. Right. So if you want to go ahead and let them know, like, how did you first discover Yoni steaming? So I'm all into herbs and doing everything natural and <laughs> I'm also vegan. So I've, I've been on a journey with getting my body in tune and cleaning out everything. And How long you been vegan? Uh, about six, six and a half years now. Okay. Yeah. So I wanted to do something that I'm also, I, I did research on the fact that we don't really um, take time to clean out our uterus. And right. also we're not aware of how it, it really works. So um, I decided to do some research on what I can do about that because I do want to have children. And I just wanted to make sure that everything was situated before I even got pregnant. Mm -hmm. So that's what pushed me towards really finding the holistic, um, the holistic aspect of fertility and right. just this maintenance on your this maintenance and on the inside. As a, you wanted to be proactive, so yeah. you're already aware of the benefits of herbs. You've already gone vegan, mm -hmm. and you just want to take care and prepare for this. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Get a, get a head start on it. Yeah. So what was your condition? Like, what did you have any struggles before? Um, what was your cycle like um, before steaming? Well, I had a regular cycle. You want to know what the difference I noticed since I've taken the, since I started? Mm -hmm. So I was, since I went vegan, my, my cycle changed, which I wasn't, I didn't really get cramps anymore. And I didn't have my cycle for like too many days. I went from having it like maybe five, six days to maybe three or four. Which okay. was nothing crazy. Nice. Um, but after speaking to you and the questions you asked me to look into my cycle in terms of the color, um, the flow, mm -hmm. the clotting, those things yeah. I never really paid attention to or even know right. that they, they existed. So right. after using the products, I definitely noticed a huge difference in my cycle. The color changed. Um, I felt like I literally, like my uterus was literally, literally getting cleaned out. Right. And I was surprised. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Where'd that come from? What is all this? Yeah. Yeah. Considering, you know, you think because you eat right, that that's it. Right. But I realized that it's so much more than just eating right. You have to also do that maintenance on the inside as well, too. So I definitely noticed a difference. I think I think I noticed a difference after the first time. 
You did. Yeah, yeah. you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. The very first one, a big difference for you. And you passed something um, the first time. I remember you shared that. You were really yes. shocked. Um, yeah. But I, it, that's a big point there, like you were saying, is that you already cleaned up your diet. And that's one thing I encourage people to do, especially vegan, if they can be disciplined enough. Um, but the biggest thing, the first thing I always talk about is cutting out the dairy, cutting out the yes. all that mucus is really not helpful. And then secondly, of course, the processed foods. Um, so that is really not helpful with uh, for like inflammation in the body and things like that. And then once you're eating a lot of like meats and stuff, now you're getting into like all the, the hormones and then that's throwing off our system and throwing our hormones out of whack. So you did already eat pretty clean. Yes. But, um, you obviously, like you said, you noticed um, there's still some improvements to your cycle. It was regular. Yes. Did you complain of pain, like very heavier pain periods? Yes, I had cramps for the very first time in a long time. And I, okay. I believe the cramps were definitely associated to with everything that was passing out. Mm -hmm. Because I was on birth control for some years. Um, maybe about, I would say, actually, probably before I, before I went vegan, about six or seven years ago, I was on birth control. But I got on birth control because of the, the cramps. Right. So I was already suffering with heavy cramps. And it was, it was to the point that I couldn't, at times, like the first day, I couldn't even move. I would, right. I would be in the bed. And I'm heated, heated pad, Excedrin, the whole nine. So that's why I got on birth control in the first place. Mm -hmm. And with the birth control, I stopped getting my period for a while. So when yes. I finally did get off the birth control, I, I wish I would have known now. I mean, no, then what I know now. Right. Because I mean, that's years and years that I, that, I, that I, didn't have, I didn't have a period and nothing was done in terms of cleaning out. Right. You know, that's so that's a long time. It's a long time. And I mean, they always just like let the, make us think that you know it's not a big deal and you're you're still eliminating right but we know that we're not ovulating we're not properly right. eliminating waste out right. of the body like we need to right 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 right, mm -hmm. right. and i didn't know necessarily what that what a healthy period really was and so after conversing with you and you know getting that direction because mm -hmm. i'm i'm 38 and i learned a lot from you recently about the, the female reproductive um, right. organs and cycles and, you know, when you actually start counting your days. And I mean, right. I don't think that's something I definitely learned in, in health <laughs> when I was in yeah, um, that's a, high. And you're definitely not alone. It's so funny because somebody, my last client literally said the exact same words today. And she's like, I'm 37. And I feel like I'm just learning this sort yeah. of the first time. Yeah. And you want to yeah. like get a, get a, a head, like a head start on things because before getting pregnant I would just make sure that everything is up to par as best as I can because you can't necessarily you know can't guarantee anything but at least mm -hmm. some type of preventive measures that you can take to address whatever issues it have because obviously I had an issue before if I had heavy cramping that I didn't know about and and it's good to be proactive and not wait till the you know the 11th hour to be mm -hmm. like okay this is what I want right now and then you're finding out of challenges right so right. the the more proactive you are in, in fixing your, your health, right? And so you have your um, nutrition and diet in check, which is amazing. Um, I also supported somebody who I just mentioned that they should, you know, increase their water intake and make sure they're consuming right. a good amount of water daily. And she felt like she already did. Cause, but funny enough, she increased her water intake like she got really, you know, detailed with it and determined and with working with her, I think over in three months, she ended up um, conceiving naturally and carrying full term. That's amazing. So yeah, that. little health tweaks, right? Lifestyle changes. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I had overall great experience with the, and not to mention, it's just some self-care. It's a whole session when I do my Yoni stage. It's a whole vibe. <laughs> candles on so for myself what is, what is your yoni because oh, so i have so i gotta have my robe okay mm -hmm. i have my robe i have to have my candles going my jazz going i dim the lights i have a whole vibe by myself <laughs> with me that's through my yoni and the herbs it goes i down. love it and i literally look forward to it because it's like when you do it you don't even really, first of all it, it feels amazing it's an experience that you just gotta you just gotta go through it. You just right. it feels amazing. And it really feels like a whole self-care vibe. Like it's just me right now. 
-hmm. And then I also make sure I have my face, I do my face shoot the same day, the same time. Okay. So I have okay. the face shoot on. It's just the camp, everything. Okay. Comes. So you're doing like a facial at home. Yes. The whole yes. day is just me. A spa day for you. Yeah, it's a spa day completely. Including I love that. Because why don't we include that? I think we neglect the yoni. It's not just for the fun. Yeah. But you got to take care of it. And you need to give it some self-care, some pampering as well, too. And it's just like, it gets your mind right. Yeah. And, and like, I, I, I don't know, guys, when your period is off, like when you have these issues with your period, like when it's missing, irregular, short, extra spotting, uh, you know, extremely painful to the point that, you know, it's debilitating and you have to stay in bed. Like, it's all a sign, right? It's a sign. It's Something literally a vital sign yeah. uh, for and, a woman. And the thing about it is not you're not getting that information, that education, because the first thing you're doing, you're going to GYN and they're telling you, you need to get on pills. They're not telling you to fix whatever the issue is on the reason why you're getting that. They're just, mm -hmm. just giving you pills. That's the thing. Or you know it. The pills is not fixing the problem. Like, that's no. the problem. I don't want to see people in pain, but I work with a client who had very severe pain. Like, she used to take six or sometimes more painkillers a mm -hmm. day uh, for the duration of her period. And after her first two sessions, she was down. She didn't have to take the painkillers mm -hmm. anymore. And that's my only thing, right, is helping you guys to transition off of, you know, the lifestyle medication, right? And right. Like, improving your quality of life. You don't want to be stuck on medication, especially when it's not fixing the root problem, right? right. Steve helps to fix the root of the issue. It does. I mean, it's, and I'm an herb person, so it's herbs in it that I, I had to research to that I, didn't hear, I, I never heard of, but some things I was familiar with that I knew worked with your reproductive organs as well. And then it's like a, it's almost like a party mix of herbs. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. It's a party mix of herbs. I never together. heard of it like that. I and like I'm that. like, okay, this with this. Ah, it's alchemy. You created alchemy. You yeah. really did. Yeah. It's amazing. I love it. <laughs> so I tell everybody, like, I try to get all the women that I know that I can have a conversation. It's a conversation that we need to start having more mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. our bodies, about fertility, about mm -hmm. um, what's a normal, what's a, what's a, what's a so-called like a normal period, you know, what's, what's not normal. This, right. So you don't know until you start talking to people about it. Cause I mean, even information I got from you, I told my mom and stuff that she didn't know. Right. You know, so we have to each one teach one. So Absolutely. I'm so thankful for you that I found you to help me out with this. <laughs> and then everything is cool. And then when I started having popping these babies out, you know, <laughs> watching. I mean, Cause We're you like family it. now. We're like, here for auntie. it. You want to be auntie. You know that, right? <laughs> I love it. So you are you're in you're in New York. Yes. Right. So you um you mentioned that like so you're steaming at home and I know when people come in here we get into this great dialogue and conversation. So what do you do when you're steaming? Because you you set you really set the mood. Yes. You, are you watching TV or are you really no meditating? You're reading. What do you do in your time? No TV, just the music. It's like it's a meditation. It's meditation. Yeah, yeah. I take the crystals out too, the candles. I do because I, I I'm a Reiki practitioner, so that's all about energy, about moving energy. So I have Reiki candles that I make that are energy based. I put those on for positive energy, clarity. I have my aim with this out. And it's a whole meditation. It's a trance for mm -hmm. that duration of time that I'm on. I'm mad when it's over. But you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, people are mad when it's over when they come. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> can I can I just be warm to do it again? But I know I don't want to OD on it. People but the be same time, extra minutes, extra Yeah, I don't want to OD, but at the same time, I'm like, I, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> so for the record, I don't recommend going over 30 minutes. People who have a I missing know. period, they can um but yeah so that's why she's talking about asking for extra time um do you teach about the male body too i really don't um sometimes when women are coming in and like them and their spouse are trying to conceive um and the issue is potentially with the the partner or i always ask has your partner been checked um i'll recommend um i'll just like sort of refer out or share what i know um, which is men, I always say um, tiger nuts. That's what I'm I'm sure of. It helps with uh, circulation and stamina, but it depends what the issue is. Um, but yeah, no, I don't necessarily specifically um, work with men's health. 
I'm really here for the ladies. Yeah, um, and so we, we definitely need that info. Yeah, yeah. I think it's don't know. important. Me, myself, um, like you said, didn't know. My mom seemed when she had her first pregnancy um, under the care of a midwife, you know, right mm. here in, in Canada um, almost 50 years ago. But then, you know, there was this uh, discrediting um, the validation of midwives. And back there, we didn't necessarily call them doulas, but doulas. And so she didn't um, think that she should continue on having like a midwife sort of thing with future pregnancies. And then when I was having my children, she didn't pass that on to me, you know, just in the brainwashing of thinking it's safer to go to the hospital. Although I had a midwife for my first um, pregnancy. So going back to what you were saying, each one teach one and you're telling your mom, it's, it's really an unlearning, right? Reprogramming. Yeah you know, getting rid of, um, you know, the Western brainwashing that unfortunately has happened. And then just going back to, you know, what Basic. our ancestors used yeah. was, was working, right? Yeah. It was yeah. effective. Yeah, yeah. I immediately felt <coughs> um, circulation soon as I, while I was doing the scene, immediately that I did it. Like I could really, I could feel that mm -hmm. even though you'd be, you'd probably be surprised, like, okay, these are herbs, is it really going to do something? Yeah, it is. Because as soon as you get on that, that, that scene, mm -hmm. you literally can feel circulation moving around you can usually yep. you feel something's happening down there because remember i told you i felt my i felt that my left ovary i could feel something going on there right that i didn't feel before right it was only the right that i would feel like i feel like when i ovulated that the yeah, right ovary was that right. but all of a sudden and then i could feel movement i could feel something going on with the left one right. as well which i can't tell you i've ever maybe i have felt it but it's i mean it had to be years ago that i don't remember right anything recent i can just remember the difference from before as opposed to actually the result after doing the steaming, even for the first time. Right. So I'm now in a few months now mm -hmm. and I still see the difference and I still feel the difference. So the last cycle I had wasn't as painful as the first time I used it. So I guess like my body is getting adjusted to it and I'm, it's, it's definitely cleaning out, but mm. it's, it's beneficial. I definitely recommend everyone to at least look, do some research to look into it to see if it's something that will be, that you might want to try. It's as simple and as safe as herbal tea um like drinking a herbal tea like that's what it is right a herbal tea with a different yeah. entry point different part um, right yeah so and you talked about the fact that you know you see the difference like i said i love that you already cleaned up your diet ahead of time now you've added yeah. this so you are moving towards having like that perfect period that painful period and like you said going from here it's just sharing it moving yeah. on to letting other people know because like you said we need to have this conversation i think we talked yeah. about the last time we have to start having this conversation with women because we are walking around with this trauma and this trouble and we're thinking it's normal and we have to change what we consider yeah. normal because what is common it doesn't mean it's normal it's not normal for our bodies to to feel this way your period's not supposed to be traumatizing and debilitating and it's so important that we start like from young letting the young girls know you know yeah because we get to this point that everything is supposed to be personal and you keep these to ourselves because you think that, you know, you don't, every, you're don't supposed to just handle it. But, mm -hmm. like, these conversations need to need to happen. And mm -hmm. I think it's, it's, it's beneficial to everyone that we kind of break that cycle of not helping one another out and not being transparent. I mean, right. it's not necessarily easy, but you'd be surprised that something that you're going through is some, the same thing another woman is going through. I mean, some of us are professionals. So we haven't had children early on that some of us may decide to have them later or for whatever, whatever your reasons are. Mm -hmm. And there's so much information out there that might, it makes you nervous. And I think that we jump to do things because we think that it, that's how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. In actuality, it's, you know, you got to write your own story, but you also need to, you'd be surprised at what your body can do. And a lot of it is mental because if somebody keeps telling you that your body can only do X, Y, and Z, you will start believing it. But when you start seeing the changes in what you're doing, you realize, okay, I'm probably better off now because sometimes, you know, when you start doing the work, you're healthier now than you were yep. three or change four years ago. Change your environment. Change your environment. Yeah. From people like that. It's so true. I agree. I agree. What? Oh, you're and doing what? great. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Absolutely. My for pleasure. Real. I I mean, I live for this. I live for the testimonies and the stories coming back on how it's improved. And what else have you done in your journey? So you've, you've uh, changed your eating habits. Yes. You've 
incorporated the yoni steaming. Yes. So that has made a big difference uh, in your cycle. Like you said, the education, not even knowing how to count. A lot of people come in here not sure of how to, to track their cycle properly. Yes. Tell them it's so important. And you're you're counting day one from the first day of your period. And right. You expect your period to come on like the third of every month or the 15th of every month because that's what it was last month. It's 28 days. So that's going to, you know, fall on different times. And also your period gets thrown off if you travel overseas, if you have a super yeah. traumatic event, um, or just a bit, not always traumatic, but like a big event. So uh, a wedding, huge birthday party, loss of job, loss of life, all those things can completely throw off your cycle too. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've also noticed since, since the, um, the steaming, steaming my body, like now I'm paying more attention to my body, which I didn't mm -hmm. do before. So mm -hmm. now I feel like everything is extra more intense and sensitive. Like I noticed like my, my breasts, the more, they, the more sensitive. They, my, I reached out to you. I was like, yo, what's yeah. going on here? Because... <laughs> I remember these, these, these guys is cutting glass. I'm something <laughs> happening right now because it wasn't like this before. Yeah, so, <laughs> that was because of this. I, my body is so much more like it's, it's, it's more, way more sensitive. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I wasn't. It, it wasn't like that before. So now I, I can. I noticed the difference, and also that app you told me to download the um I period think, uh, diary. It's period diary or flow or something. One of those. I don't remember. Yeah. I use but you can diary. log in your, you can log in like what mm -hmm. you're feeling so that mm -hmm. you get a pattern. You can understand, okay, this is coming from this. And now I notice that I start feeling things way before I even get my period. Okay. As opposed to before. Yeah. It's like, I know now, okay, this is going on. It, it's like a whole, yeah, it's different now. It's totally different. My body is completely different. You're way into, it sounds like you're a lot more in tune with your body. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I'm someone that I felt like I was in tune with my body, considering like I do meditate, I do energy, energy work, you know, mm -hmm. but now it's, it's like a whole different level. So I do feel like, you know, you can't do one without the other. You have to, you can't just eat it. You can't just go to, yeah. it's mental, you know, it's yeah. physical. All these things are, you have to incorporate them all together and they all matter. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think one is more important than the other. So I definitely see the difference. It's in the balance. It. Yeah, most definitely. definitely. Forward, like I, ha I have a guest on, um. I have a guest on Tuesday. She's a dental hygienist and she wrote this book called uh, Dental Detox for, for Women. And she's going to talk about how much our oral health impacts our hormones and, and wow. can throw things off. And I was like blown wow. away. Came in for her appointment and she was sharing that. So yeah, she's going to come and share on that. And just goes to say what you're talking about. It's not one without the other. It's every. Yeah. So we're going to get into like dental health, which is crazy. Um, you know, I'm just like, well, you know, you brush your teeth, you brush your tongue, you floss. So I just can't wait to hear like what we're not what, doing, what we right. do better. And, yeah. and when you mentioned earlier about the trauma, because your uterus holds trauma. A lot of us don't know that you're holding your chakras. All those things matter. And you're holding trauma in your uterus. So you have all these issues and you don't know why you have like... Emotional ailments usually turn to physical ailments. Right. So it's something you have to address as well. The herbs are helpful. The energy, you got to think about that too. And sometimes you, you know, it might not even be you. It might be generational. It might be from your moms or even beyond that, that you're holding mm -hmm. energy there that now transmutes into a problem, especially when it does come to fertility as well. Mm -hmm. So that's something else that we like what you said, oral. The it, it, It's all connected. So that's amazing. I would love to hear that because that's not something I ever even... um. I've heard anyone talk about yeah. when it comes to that. So yeah, that's why that's why I was blown away because the conversation I've never heard before. So yeah, we're gonna go live on Tuesday, February eighth. So okay, you know I don't I'm like definitely to gonna check in. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> turn your notifications on. We going live on Tuesday at some point. <laughs> oh yeah. But um, going back to you, you were saying that you do energy work and stuff like that. So I just wanted you to share, like, is there anything else you're doing? on your holistic health journey because I know I'm sure it can help other women. So what else are you doing? I'm, 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 I'm unloading. I'm unloading. This has been an amazing experience. When I say unloading, like I do my journaling. I'm really mm -hmm. just doing my best to be present mm -hmm. in the moment. I'm doing a lot of reflection. And mm -hmm. when I talked about that trauma, it's a lot there that I didn't know that was there and I, that I was holding on to myself and releasing it. Like once it's coming up, I'm making a better, a better, 
effort to address things as they come up instead of just pushing it down. Because I do feel like me doing that definitely has everything to do with stuff going yeah. down there. Like you, so you just finished saying that we carry it in our womb. Yeah, yeah. So Discussing it is not helpful. So yeah. now that you're more aware, right? You're you're protecting your energy and your space, and you're aware. You know what your body's going through. You really feel your body and the the tension, yes. the energy, and stuff like that. You're dealing with things as they come. Yes, mm -hmm. and not let them build up. Yeah, and putting me first, mm -hmm. like me, which I wasn't. It's, it's been a whole yeah. experience, a whole journey for real. And it started just just with that, as just the beginning. Because when you're going through that process, when you're doing your steam and you are doing that, having that quiet time, you're able just to reflect and these things come to you. And yep. then you have to, because I know sometimes if I don't want to deal with something, I have a tendency I might push something away. But like, it's, you know, you ever heard that saying, as above, so below, as within, so without? Mm. It's, you're doing that. You're dealing with it. You're doing all of that. If you, if whatever's going on the inside is going to reflect on the outside. If you mm. have a cluttered mind, you usually have a cluttered house. You know what I mean? So you, you got to start keeping that, like keeping a, like, a tally of what's really going on. Like, mm -hmm. But you, a lot of times we're not present to see what's really going on around us and see how it's reflected from the inside on how we can deal with that. I so, always tell people to, yeah, fix your environment. Yes, it's all, it, it's all connected. Yeah, so I'm doing that as well. That journaling has been a big, a big part of... I'm big on journaling. I'm big yeah. on um i oh my gosh i i fill up books so fast now because i just won't limit myself to oh i've already written a page or two pages like as it comes i have yeah. to get like I, I have one right here <laughs> like i have them i have to carry them with me all the time because you're like i get up early in the morning i rise up at like 4 a.m to start my day and i do a couple hours of devotions at that time but then now, like this morning, I did my workout and more was coming to me during my workout. Mm -hmm. So I had to, on the water break, write more down. And it was just getting me pumped up during the workout, like, right? How much mm -hmm. was coming into me for books and different projects I want to do. And then I walk with it. I make sure I have something with me all the time because, as you said, as you declutter your life and we're talking about cutting people, this really mm -hmm. goes into mental health. And everybody's mental health is like, at risk right now with this pandemic and just everything that everyone's going through there's a domino trickling effect of of the pandemic right mm -hmm. and so i had um i have this room on on clubhouse on mondays and fridays for entrepreneurs like women entrepreneurs to hop on and check in so it's like a space where a lot of us are solo entrepreneurs and this creates a space for you to come and bounce ideas off one another and oh, hear nice. your for the week yeah because a lot of times like there's no one to sort of cheer your win with right or yeah. or your struggle and you know today the the conversation went into you know mental health and relationships and balancing all of that and it's so important to have like that outlet right and so people who are not in the space where they can share with somebody um like journaling and like I know it's becoming almost like a buzzword yeah but it's a release right and you talked yes. about how how sacred your steaming time is yeah that, you, know, you don't have outside elements right you don't have that you just it's just you your journal and your music and yep. it's at that peaceful time it's it's a huge release it is it is and I added yoga to it too I love like I'm being more I did before but I've never really been more I'm doing my best to be more consistent Mm -hmm. I don't beat myself up if something if something happens I can like I'm trying my best not to beat myself up a lot which I have that's been my my pattern and that's another thing like came up with everything that I need to like fall back yeah. on myself and just mm -hmm. you know be easy on myself and just let me be just flow with things and like mm -hmm. not try to control everything but flow with things and what I, what I love about yoga is that you and I could both be next to each other but we might not be doing the same thing but my accomplishment from that little thing that I'm doing, it may took me a lot longer that I can appreciate than what you're able to do right now. So everybody's at their own pace. Mm -hmm. And you have to appreciate, so appreciating where you are from where mm -hmm. you are and being right. more present with that. And that and when you start doing that, that you do that in everything. Cause I think a lot of, a lot of times we don't sit and actually acknowledge how well we're doing. You know, give yourself mm -hmm. a round of applause. You don't. You know what I mean? So I think that's important too, and that's happened too since the since all of this is, has this has begun with the whole steaming and 
and taking that visualization and it's just a whole vibe it's, it's a whole so self-care vibe that's just not one day it continues that self-care is so necessary is oh yeah back when you were talking you said when you're steaming when you're sitting there you actually already feel the improvement in circulation yes and Funny enough, a lot of my senior clients have mentioned that they notice their medication works a lot better after this. Really? Again, because it improves uh, circulation. Circulation, yeah. For those yeah. who don't know, like the way the steaming is helping to stimulate circulation, that's going to help with a lot of the, the backup and the unwanted things that you have in your system. It's a cleanse like any other detox where your uterus is not necessarily getting rid of everything, which is why you have so much cramping and stuff. Right. And well, improving circulation is helping to eliminate that. And also any sort of infections and residue left behind from intimacy, that's mm -hmm. also helping to be cleared out. So the vagina is obviously naturally self-cleansing, but so is the liver, so is the eyeball. Are you sometimes still that out? It needs a, <laughs> sometimes it needs a <laughs> detox, right? I love you it. I love it. That out. We, but people, like, I always say this when I talk about Reiki too, because I always look at Reiki as a tune-up for your body. And like you'll do so much maintenance to you know take your car in but you don't take care of your body and the car needs it why don't you mm -hmm. on every aspect you got to maintain it maintain it make sure this is good it needs the right fuel which is our food mm -hmm. you got to flush it out which is what we're doing now so it's the same thing and you really have to take like take accountability for that for your own body and what you can what you can do and don't put it in someone else's hands completely but it's also like forced me not forced me but like pushed me in a direction to do more research which I like to do because I think mm -hmm. that when you do research, it, it, it makes, it's freeing. It's freedom in research because you understand more about your body because it's so much that we don't, need power. we don't understand. We mm -hmm. weren't taught that. So what, so, um, for those who don't know, what is Reiki and what do you do with that? Okay. So Reiki is, like I said, I think Re I, I say it as an energy, like a, a body tune up. So what Reiki is, it helps you to balance your chakras. You balance your energy in your body. What happens sometimes, whether it's something every day or something that happened when you were seven, it, it you, your body holds it. Your, your DNA holds all these memories mm -hmm. and it transmutes into phys physical ailments. For example, if you grew up with a parent that might have told you you weren't anything, you mm -hmm. constantly, you might have a closed solar plexus, which deals with confidence and willpower. So that might be your issue. So with that intent, you know, when you do Reiki, it'll help to balance that out. It's not a one-time all fix thing. Sometimes people need more. Sometimes, you know, one session is good enough to help you balance everything out. Also, they use it in hospitals as well to speed up recovery because it's like your body is intelligent on its own. And when Reiki, your body knows what needs to be fixed. So what Reiki does, a, pr a practitioner, they can either do it at distance or do it in, um, in person. They don't have to touch you. They place their hands over you. And it's, it's energy that they help help to flow among your body to address whatever issues your body needs. When I did it, like I was in a place where I felt very, this is maybe about, about five, no, um, five, six, seven, this is eight years ago, about eight years ago, mm -hmm. I was in a place where I felt I didn't have any clarity. I didn't know my purpose. I felt very disconnected from myself. And mm -hmm. then my coworker came into work one day and it was just something about her. And we don't realize how much that we pick up on vibes. Mm -hmm. We say it all the time, but we don't realize it. Like, you know, you go into a room and you kind of like, I don't really feel this, I'm going to leave. It's because your body is an, is an antenna and, you, and you're picking up on energy. Right. You don't necessarily know that's what it like is. A, a magnet. Magnet yeah. that pushed away from each other or pull. Yeah. Right. So she came in and it was something about it. It just was different. So I said, what did you do? So she said she had Reiki done. So I said, Reiki, what's that? So she explained to me like what I'm telling you right now, but it was something about it that just resonated. So I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. So I went. I, I, I wanted clarity i want to know my purpose and girl this session i'm not laid down yet you lay on the table the, the person goes over you i felt energy moving all over my body and i have never experienced that before i had visions of past lives it was crazy and after the fact of it like maybe about um i would say like maybe two or three weeks i started painting again i used to paint i, started, I used to draw all those things i used to do that was like the essence of me i started doing it again Mm. And that's where it began. Then I went vegan. From then, I didn't want to eat meat anymore. I, I had all these like little changes, and then I found out when I saw that how serious energy was, and how much of our own people have no idea 
how energy really can affect your life either mm -hmm. in ways that you want or ways that you don't want but either way like i think energy is neutral it right. depends on what which way what lens you're looking at and how what you, you do with it right you mm -hmm. you do have the power to create your reality whether you realize it or not and i said you know what i have to give this back to people so they need to understand about this but then i did more research on it and so that we've been doing energy work since like the beginning of the time if you look at some of the pictures on the walls in Kemet when they have their hands up it's energy because you got energy ports in your hand mm -hmm. so it's something that we've been doing for a long period of time and now it changed my life to understand how significant energy is and how it is in your everyday life regardless if you're realizing it or not or you're not saying it you don't know like our parents do it all the time you know they don't want you bringing in stuff from somewhere else don't bring something outside <laughs> the house that it's real here but it's that's why they're telling you that because everything holds energy. They don't want that energy in the house. They mm -hmm. don't want everybody else in the house. Don't cat don't ha don't carry a whole bunch of people in the house. <laughs> don't bring nobody to my. It's that's what they're telling you. Don't put nobody hat on. Don't yeah. have anybody in your hair. Like yeah. those little things that you told when you were a kid. Yeah. It's because we're acknowledging energy, but we're not saying it in that way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's that's my whole spiel. Like Reiki has been amazing to show me a different lens on what's around me and it's science too because it's amazing when you start like really diving deep in it, it together right like when you mentioned like the magnets and the energy and like how it affects our bodies and your body is always you know doing that we have pheromones it's so much mm -hmm. it's a whole big to do but just at the short version that's more <laughs> or less <laughs> what it is you know if you have, anybody have any questions you can always hit me up I, i'll go on for like three hours about reiki but it's, it's, <laughs> so yeah her 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 handle is is it 111 reiki Yes, 111 Reiki. Um, Her candles are amazing. That's in the comments. Someone said everyone should experience a Reiki session. Yes, at least once. Try it out because your experience, everyone's experience is different. Um, I even did Reiki for people in Africa. Like I'm out here and I did over there distance Reiki. And it's crazy because I was able to see the same thing they were seeing over there. It's, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> But so you talked about like laying on of hands, um, at which I'm familiar with. So you were able to do it virtually as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what's so amazing about it, because that helped me understand, like, when which we first, were first learning about it. I was like, how are we able to do that over there? And the, the woman explained, there's no such thing as distance and time. Mm -hmm. Everything is moving constant. And right. I wrapped my mind around it once it actually, when I was actually doing it. When you did it. Yeah. So it's, it's basically the fact that you're deal dealing in the spiritual realm and not the physical realm. Yeah. And that's why, that's why distance doesn't matter. Right. Right. And when you realize that, you realize how much healing you can do because we carry in so much mm -hmm. or in your body. Like even the tuning forks, the frequencies, like you're carrying stuff in your body mm -hmm. that's not necessarily all your stuff. It, it, it's passed down because your blood is what? You, you know how you got blood? Mm -hmm. Connected to people is DNA. It goes so far back. Right. That you carry on. Like, it's like when you get in a car accident, you know how your body tenses up. Yeah. So you're, you still have that. It's the same thing with trauma. You still mm -hmm. have that. Mm -hmm. And that transmutes into other things. Like, when we, go, when we talk about our uterus and why some women have issues with that, you know, with um, being able to feel we're in survival mode. A lot of that stuff that's down there has everything to do with you being absolutely. in survival mode and feeling like yeah. yes, it's absolutely. Deep. It's not, it's so much bigger than what we realize. But once we start having these conversations and acknowledging it and start really thinking about it and mm -hmm. helping one another out on that journey, I so feel it be a lot better. Uh, it sounds like Reiki is another form of like getting rid of trauma or dealing yeah. with trauma that you're holding. Like dealing with it, acknowledging it. Yeah. Learning how to cope with it. You know, um, it's, it's definitely been helpful for me. I felt like I found myself again when I, when I had that session. Because mm -hmm. I really felt lost. Because I, lo I stopped doing all those things. Mm -hmm. It was a time where after all I would do was color and draw and paint. I was more creative. I'm a Gemini. Right. And Geminis, we like to work with our hands. We're very creative. You know, I'm, I was always into reading. And somewhere along the line, I lost that. Lost that. And when I lost it, I wasn't me. Mm. So when I got that, when I went through that, that session and I saw what I saw, and gradually I started changing, I changed as a person. And I definitely lost... I want to say I don't want to say I lost friends. I gained uh, I, gained, I gained clarity because I had to disconnect myself where it, it wasn't my vibe anymore. Certain things just wasn't my vibe anymore. I started seeing things differently, right? And in a bigger in a bigger scale, and started more. I had more concern with how I was feeling instead of how things look. Mm -hmm. How I was feeling because I don't think we have we don't take time to really 
acknowledge how we feel and accept, especially when you on the go. Like like we said earlier, you're doing this, you're doing that. You don't have time to acknowledge your your success. You don't have time to acknowledge your pain. You mm -hmm. don't have time to acknowledge presently what's going on because you're constantly going. Right. And when you start to sit back and, re and relax and do those things, you start looking around like, all right, you know what? This doesn't fit for me. And it's okay. It doesn't fit for me. I'm going to move on to something that feels that right. feels right. You know what? That don't feel right anymore. I can do this. And not feeling like you're doing something wrong or being hard on yourself. It's a part of the it. elevation, right? It's a part of the growth. Yes. It's part. Like when you go to the gym, right? You know how you work out. You sore because the muscle is tearing down to build back up. That's so exactly that's what, what I tell you about. Guys. Right? Yeah. You gotta yeah. something. You're gonna feel something in the ovaries, but it's a part of the process. Yes, yes, yes. Pain is weakness leaving the body. That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I love it. So I was gonna I was gonna say whoever is in the New York area, how could they reach out to you? But basically for any of my followers here in Toronto, their GTA and surrounding Canada, how can they find you if they want a session as well? Oh, and you can also, hit me up on, on, we, on um, IG or email me at 111reiki at gmail.com. Okay, and we have That's a, the word one. Yeah, your candles are amazing, and so is the Reiki, so... Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, cuz. I see my, my cousin up here supporting us. So I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, cuz? Thank you. Thanks, sis. Thank so, you. yeah, we have everyone in the comments is talking about how your candles are amazing, uh, your Reiki service, so... Definitely, you guys follow her, uh, 111 Reiki on Instagram or 111 spelt out Reiki at gmail.com if you want to reach out to her for that service. Yeah, and I do personalized candles as well. So, like, if you need a candle for, for example, you say clarity, that would I would make a candle just for that for you. Okay, so you yeah. use essential oils in your candles? I do. I do use essential oils, I use herbs, um, I infuse them with Reiki energy, of course. I also do um, birth charts because, you know, you have three different signs to find out your, your particular mixture of mm -hmm. what you are. And I do a candle for that as well. So I, I, the candles are so, they're my babies because I want people to experience that, that experience that is for you. Mm -hmm. that you. It's not only that it smells nice, but you, I want you to feel, when you put that candle on and you, you have it on, I want you to feel that you're comfortable. I want you to acknowledge that you're feeling Mm -hmm. So you can acknowledge that energy exists. So you'll so you'll keep that in mind. That's the whole purpose behind the candles. And okay. it'll also help you in whatever so it is. That's why you, you make need. most of them per most of them are personalized. Customers. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're all for positive energy, period. But I also make them personalized for like if someone needs them for a particular reason. But they're all about positive energy. So you'll feel it like you'll put it on and you'll feel like ah, it's a vibe. Whether it's your meditation. Your Yoni steam session, hey. Hey. Because I'll put it on mine. <laughs> hey. Yeah, people need that. A lot of people come to me because they're dealing with trauma, leaving a relationship, and they just want that closure and cleansing. So um, that's definitely valuable for that. You did cut out for a minute on my end when you were talking about something about three different elements. Oh, I was saying that we have, you know, how you have your sun sign, which is the sign that the month and the, you know how you, you know, your sign, like you're born and like I'm, a, I'm a Gemini, I'm born in June, June. Right. But it's more to it. So you have your moon sign, you have your Ryan sign. Your moon sign deals with how you deal with emotion. So even though you might be a Gemini, you might have, you might be um, a Leo, a Leo moon. So the way that you deal with relationships would be more so how a Leo would deal with relationships. So that's why compatibility sometimes is a little off. You think that, oh, it's just your sun sign, but it's a little bit deeper than that because everybody has a particular blueprint for their own birthday. So what I do with that is like I, I incorporate all those signs to make a candle for you and find out your, your high, not your highs, but I would say some of the things that you need to work on to help you, to help you work through that. So that's, right. you know, that's not the, you know, it's more personalized for what that person and is. And I think a lot of people don't know right now are interested in shadow work and healing the inner child so i feel like it really aligns with that yes. it's exactly what people are looking for and in need of yes for, for sure i love yeah. it yeah so it makes sense any, any like, last mm -hmm. yeah just keep in mind when you start to look into stuff like that like even if you're doing it your own you could check you could check your birth chart yourself you start to understand more about yourself that you didn't know and mm. you realize why you're like x y and z as opposed to the pro person next to you who might be at like ABC is because that's your, that's your makeup. So it's, it's helpful. For those who want to know more on that, where can they go? Where they, should they, they go? They can just email me. 
And we could we could converse. Okay. So yes. he said one eleven Reiki spelled out at gmail dot com. That's how you can contact her directly. Well, on IG, either one, that's fine. Or hit her up on IG with the same name. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you coming on. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. So this is Clarissa sharing her story on why she steams and her whole holistic journey going vegan, steaming, doing Reiki work. She is getting herself all the way together. All the way ready. All Not nothing behind <laughs> for 2022. Okay. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. So thank you so much for coming on, my dear. Thank you guys Thank for you. tuning in. For those of you who are late, go ahead and watch the replay and be sure to tune in on Tuesday when I'm going to have Brie on and she is a dental hygienist letting us know the relationship between our oral health and our hormones as women. Mm. That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for that. Yes. Turn your notifications on. We don't know when we're going live. So just... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good day. See you later. Thanks. Peace. Bye.